how to make $25 an hour easily. In this video, I'll be explaining how you can go about starting an Amazon Flex business. And this is where you can deliver packages for Amazon. So it's like ride sharing, but instead of taking people, you're taking packages and delivering them. So I'll explain how you can go about doing this, how to get started, what you need, how much money you can make, and also the pros and cons of getting into this type of business. So be sure to stick around to get all the info. Now, if you're new here and you're seeing me or watching one of my videos for the very first time, my name is Ian and I post personal finance related videos here on YouTube every single day. So if this kind of content interests you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel and this way you'll be able to get the updates from this channel every day when I post a new video. Now, I want you to comment down below and let me know what type of delivery services or ride sharing services have you used before and how much was the most you've ever been able to earn per hour? Comment down below. Now, Amazon says that you can earn roughly 18 to $25 an hour by doing Amazon Flex and I'm going to break this down for you. But before I do that, let me just explain what Amazon Flex is if you don't already know. In this job, you will need a car, phone with GPS and yourself. Now, I like this because anyone can sign up. You simply go into the Play Store and download the Amazon Flex app and you sign up there. When you sign up, you'll have to give Amazon your details as well as the details of your car, including insurance. So it's similar to driving for Lyft and Uber. And of course, you also need to pass a background check, which usually takes a few days. Once you're approved, then you can start doing or driving for Amazon Flex. Now, again, I really like this because all you need is a phone, which you already have because you're most likely using one to watch this video right now. And you also need a car and of course yourself. Now, Amazon pays anywhere from 18 to $25 an hour, which is right there in the normal range for the average salary right now. And also you don't need to wait an entire month or week to get paid here. You actually get paid twice per week and I think this is good since you will be using your car and you'll definitely need access to cash more frequently to pay for fuel and other daily costs to get the job done. So if you want something that is easy to get into and allows you to get paid twice per week, then this could definitely be it. The only con to signing up is that you need to be at least 21 years old and not 18. So if you're 19 or 20, then this won't work for you. There are a couple more interesting things about Amazon Flex that I like. The next thing is the schedule. You can actually fill in your availability and then one of two things can happen. Amazon Flex will send you blocks as they call them, which are the times when they need you to do deliveries or you can choose your own blocks. Now each block is usually anywhere from three to six hours long. And so again, this is something that you could do full time or even part time. Either way works. Also, if you don't schedule any blocks, you can still go into the app and look for any available blocks. And if you find any, you can take them. They're there on a first come, first serve basis. So that's another plus. And during high traffic times when there are more blocks available than people working in Amazon Flex, you may be even able to earn slightly more. So if you're looking for a full-time gig, then this works because you can take as many blocks as you want per day. And if you're looking for something part-time to just get some extra cash before or after your main job, then this can also work for you because each block is usually three to six hours long. Also, remember you spend this time driving alone or most of this time driving alone. So it's a no pressure work environment. Let's talk about the money in this business now. Amazon says you'll be making 18 to $25 an hour, which is true for the most part, but there are a few things that come into play here that will determine how much you can truly earn. The first one is the type of car you have. If you have a larger car, SUV or a truck, then you can potentially earn more from each block because you'll be able to deliver larger packages or you'll be able to deliver more packages. Now remember, people don't just order books from Amazon anymore. They order all kinds of things and the packages are small to large. So if you have a bigger car, then you can deliver more packages per block, which helps you to earn more. Now, secondly, I would only deliver in peak times. We're getting closer and closer to the holidays right now and no doubt that will be a great time to do this since a lot of people will be ordering from Amazon and even now during the epidemic. If you deliver in peak times, you have access to more blocks, which in turn means more money for you. 
instead of completing a block and waiting for a new one to be available, you can have them back to back for as long as you want. However, here comes the cons of driving for Amazon Flex. The base pay in most cities is at least $18 an hour, which is good, but you are a contractor. As a contractor, you only get your paycheck and no benefits. So you'll be responsible for your own health insurance, 401k or retirement savings and other things that you would get if you were working at a traditional job. If you had a truck or SUV, then that could all be gone in fuel. So now you have to drive a fuel efficient car, which means you're likely not going to be able to take 70 packages or the 70 packages that Amazon says you could take at once. So you have to figure out how much fuel your car will use and then subtract that from your hourly earnings. I would use the same approach I take with other ride sharing like apps, which is the 50-50 approach. 50% 50 off the income, I'll just consider it fuel and maintenance cost because it's usually somewhere near to it. Even with Uber and Lyft, most people report earning anywhere from $8 to $15 an hour after all expenses instead of $25 and $30 an hour that those companies say that you could make. Now, Amazon Flex is great. You can make money here, but you'll have to be strategic. Figure out when the peak times are and then only work during peak times. The average amount made per hour after factoring in all the costs from Amazon Flex was only $12 an hour. This is still good, especially if you really need a job or you need some income or side income. Now, if you do this full time and you work 40 hours per week, you're looking at making $240 twice every week. Remember, you get paid on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you're doing this part time and working only 20 hours per week, then you're making $120 twice per week. And this is the average earning after the cost associated with traveling. If you look at the earnings before the cost for traveling, then it would be 18 times 40 hours, which makes you around $720 per week. And if you're in a city where you can keep busy and also make that $25 an hour, then that's going to be around $1,000 per week. So you can make money here, but you'll have to be strategic. And also, if you have a car that gives you 10 miles to the gallon, then you're probably going to spend all your earnings in fuel, as opposed to having a car that gives you 25 or 30 miles to the gallon. Now, this brings us to taxes. As an independent contractor, you get to write off the cost associated with your vehicle for the year on your taxes, which allows you to keep more of the money you made. However, you'll have to spend that money up front. So if you serviced your car more often because of Amazon Flex, you would have to pay out of your pocket throughout the year to do that four or five times and then wait until your taxes are done to get that money back. Also, before I mentioned fuel eating away a sizable amount of your earned income, and while that still may be true, you can get to earn a lot more here because in the Amazon Flex job, you get to also deduct mileage from your taxes. You can go with a standard mileage deduction for the year, or you can calculate all the costs and do it that way. Now, in case you guys are doing this or you're planning on doing it, I have a video here on YouTube on the best free apps to track your mileage and also daily expenses in these types of businesses. I actually used a couple of them myself and I made a video about the best three that I found. So I'll leave a link to that video here as well. And those apps will track your mileage, allows you to separate personal from work miles, and also allows you to add additional costs such as uh, car servicing or cleaning or anything else that you may spend money on while you're on the job. This way is easier for you to keep records for your tax deductions. So you can make $18 an hour here, but you'll spend a lot of money up front. And if you can afford to do this, then you'll be able to get it back when you do your taxes. Amazon Flex is also very easy, guys. You pull into the Amazon Center and you use a handheld device to scan the packages, and then you put them inside your car, and then you use the map in the Flex app, which tells you where to go until the block is completed. It's that easy. So if you're looking for a good part-time or full-time gig, I would definitely recommend trying Amazon Flex. If you already do Amazon Flex, comment down below and let me know uh, the average amount you make per hour and in what city you are. Now, I hope you guys found this video very helpful. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, give this video a thumbs up as that's the way these videos get recommended to more people here and I'll really appreciate it. And also, don't forget guys, giving this video a thumbs up is completely free. Be sure to also check out some of my other videos here on this channel on credit cards, banking apps, savings accounts, investments, ways to make more money, and much more. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and be sure to turn on all notifications for this channel, as that's the only way that you'll be able to get the updates when I post new videos. 
And remember, I'll be posting a new video here every single day on YouTube. Now, I'm leaving a couple of links down below to free stuff and free cashback offers. So be sure to check all the links down below in the description for all kinds of free stuff. Once again, I hope this video was very helpful. All the best with making money and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.